The Indian Air Force will soon approach the Ministry of Defence for an acceptance of necessity for the MRFA programme, which typically marks the beginning of the procurement process by setting aside budgetary outlays. Once the request for proposal is issued, the deal will be concluded within the next two to three years. The Indian Air Force has determined that to maintain a fleet of 36 combat squadrons by 2035, it must finalize a deal for 114 MRFA fighter jets by 2025, that will allow for the establishment of a production line and to start production by 2028. The Indian Air Force has said, that it will induct 73 Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets by 2028, that will be followed by 108 Tejas Mark II aircraft and 40 AMCA Mark I fighter jets, with follow-up orders for 50 Tejas Mark 1A and 50 Tejas Mark II aircraft, that will bring the strength of indigenous fighter jets to 50% by early 2040. The 120 AMCA Mark II will begin production in late 2035, which will further push the strength of indigenous fighter jets to above 50% by 2045. Beating competitors from Israel and Poland, the Indian private sector firm Solar Industries has bagged an order to supply over 450 Nagistra 1 loitering munition to the Indian Army. The deal has been signed under the emergency provisions, that requires delivery to be completed within one year. The Nagistri 1 has an indigenous content of more than 75%, and has an endurance of 60 minutes with a man-in-loop range of 15 km, and a range of 30 km in autonomous mode. In addition to day-night surveillance, the loiter munition is equipped with fragmenting warhead, and also has advanced features such as a bot recover and reuse capabilities. As India is all set to announce the partner for joint engine development, the Chief of Defence Staff for the United Kingdom Admiral Tony Radkin has said, that the proposal for joint development of a jet engine with India has received the highest clearance from the British authorities. He also said, that the programme will grant intellectual property rights of the engine to India, and will also factor in export clearance, so that the engine can be sold without requiring permission from the UK. The chairman of Safran Group also met the Prime Minister Modi yesterday, to discuss a technological partnership with Safran. The Pentagon has already cleared General Electric's proposal for joint development of the new engine for the AMCA program, but it still awaits final clearance from the Biden administration. Russian deliveries of military supplies to India have ground to a halt, as both the countries are struggling to find a payment mechanism that doesn't violate US sanctions. Officials have said, that Indian payments for weapons amounting to more than $2 billion have been stuck for about a year, and Russia has stopped supplying credit for a pipeline of $10 billion worth of spare parts, as well as two S-400 missile defense system batteries that are yet to be delivered. The Indian government has proposed that Russia should use the rupees from weapons sales to invest in Indian debt and capital markets to avoid stockpiling rupees, but the Russian government doesn't find that appealing. Another option under discussion is a mechanism for Russia to offset purchases of Indian imports against the price of the weapons.